Who's your favorite football player, then? My dad. Your dad's your favorite football player, too? Well, you're on the right track. You're going to be a football player when you grow up? <laughs> Peyton Manning seemed destined to play quarterback his whole life, but he didn't just play the position, he owned it. After dominating high school football, Peyton committed to Tennessee, unlike where his father and two brothers who went to Ole Miss. Peyton wanted to carve out his own legacy at Tennessee, and that he did. He would go on to set 42 college football records and win a handful of awards. Most quarterbacks only go two or three seasons in college, but Peyton Manning famously stayed for his senior year despite being the number one player in the draft class. After a dominating senior year, Peyton was drafted number one overall by the Indianapolis Colts. In college, Peyton wore number 16, but he changed his number to 18 in the pros. This was to honor his older brother Cooper Manning, whose football career was cut short due to a spinal injury. And Peyton's transition to the NFL didn't affect him because in his rookie season, he was already breaking records. Manning threw a rookie record 28 interceptions. And to this day, Peyton still pulls for a new rookie quarterback to break his record. But for him, I tried to tell him it's a marathon, it's not a sprint. Look, I lost more games my rookie year than I had my entire high school and college career combined. I threw 26 interceptions. That's still an NFL record. If Joe wants to break that, Hannah, yeah. I'd be okay with that. We'd still be friends. In just his second season, though, the Colts went from 3-13 and to 13-3, and securing a first-round bye. From there, things would only get better. There was a span of seven years where the Colts won 12 or more games in each season. Peyton would play 13 seasons with the Colts, winning 141 games. The Colts would also play in two Super Bowls, winning one of them. During his time in Indy, Peyton went to 11 Pro Bowls, was on the All-Pro team eight times, and took home the MVP trophy an astounding four times as well. Unfortunately, in 2011, Peyton Manning herniated a disc in his neck that required four surgeries and left him with severe nerve damage. He lost most of the strength in his throwing arm and had to relearn how to throw. After the 2011 season, the Colts cut Peyton Manning so they could draft Andrew Luck and commit to a rebuild. It was a sad but necessary decision. Most people felt Peyton would only be a shadow of his former self. However, the Denver Broncos decided to take a chance on him, signing him to a five-year, $96 million contract. In his first season back, you couldn't tell Peyton had just suffered a severe neck injury because he led the Broncos to the league's best record while winning Comeback Player of the Year and coming second in the MVP race. But things only get better from here. In 2013, the Broncos would go 13-3 again, but in 2013 as well, the NFL would also witness the greatest statistical season of all time. Peyton threw for an NFL record 5,477 passing yards and 55 touchdowns. He also won MVP and Offensive Player of the Year rather easily. The Broncos went on to play in the Super Bowl that year, for which I will not disclose the final score. It's snapped over the head of Peyton Manning. A flag is down and the ball's out of the back of the end zone. Now we're going to fast forward to Peyton's final season, which was in 2015. Peyton would play only nine games in the regular season after aggravating his plantar fasciitis. However, the Broncos would stay afloat, securing him a first round bye. And there was no way Peyton Manning was going to sit out his final postseason. But it was obvious Peyton's age had finally caught up to him. 39 at the time, Manning took on a game manager role while the rest of the team repaid him for all of his years of dedication. The Broncos would win the next two games by just a combined nine points, but it didn't matter because they had made it to the Super Bowl. However, they were up against the 15-1 Carolina Panthers led by league MVP Cam Newton. This team seemed to be unstoppable. The odds seemed improbable, but the Broncos weren't going to let their sheriff fall short in his last rodeo. Super Bowl MVP Von Miller stole the show, setting the tone with this play. And the Panthers have a third and ten. Here comes pressure, and they've gotten to him. The ball is out in the end zone, and it's recovered by Malik Jackson for the touchdown. The Broncos would go on to defeat the Panthers 24-10, capping off a very memorable and historic season. I got a couple of priorities first. I want to go kiss my wife and my kids. I want to go, you know, hug my family. I'm going to drink a lot of Budweiser tonight, Tracy. Peyton had created a resume like none other. After a fitting 18 seasons, the Sheriff officially rode off into the sunset after breaking every record he could break, watching an absurd amount of film, raising $13 million for charity, and just being the best teammate possible. When I look back on my NFL career, I'll know without a doubt that I gave everything I had to help my teams walk away with a win. There were other players who were more talented, but there was no one who could outprepare me. And because of that, I have no regrets. 
There's a scripture reading, 2 Timothy 4, 7. I have fought the good fight, and I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. Well, I've fought a good fight. I've finished my football race. And after 18 years, it's time. God bless all of you, and God bless football.